All right, today's sauna question is on EMF from Heat Lamps. Hi, Matt. I found you during my three-day rabbit hole investigation of saunas during Christmas. I purchased the Radiant Health three-person sauna and love it, and also hacked it with the two heat lamp bulbs that you showed. Now I looked at sauna space site and see their Faraday protection around the bulbs, and I'm concerned about the EMFs from the bulbs. Since you have the equipment, did you ever measure that? Yes. If it is high and not a huge investment was made, so no problem removing. Thanks again for your information and dedication to helping. Um, yeah, I could probably even share with you the levels. I think it added, you're in a three person sauna. So the size of the sauna makes a difference because when you mount the heat lamp bulbs in the sauna, the distance from you to the bulb and where the electrical is routed totally makes a difference. Now there really aren't any additional magnetic fields uh, from the bulbs because the magnetic fields only extend maybe six inches at max from the wiring <clears throat> or the receptacle that the bulbs screw into, but there are some electric fields from the bulbs. I don't think it is, I don't think it's detrimental because number one, the bulbs usually aren't on the whole time. You can put them on a clickable outlet switch like I showed you to do in the video. And, uh, you know, you're going to turn them off when they get too hot. So exposure limit is really low. It's, they're not going to be on for the duration of the sauna session. And, um, if you wanted to, so the way the sauna, pace, the sauna space people have removed the electric fields in that one is uh, number one, they're using a grounded heat shield over the front of the bulb. And so anything that penetrates uh, beyond the bulb can be, you know, basically knocked down. It doesn't eliminate it, but it can knock it down by using a grounded Faraday cage, blocks electric fields. So if you wanted to put some type of wire mesh in front of the bulbs or, you know, fabricate some type of enclosure and ground it that would stop the electric fields but to give you an example um putting the bulbs in there in a one person sauna like you see in the video i think it added somewhere between one and a half volts which would be 1500 1500 uh, millivolts of body voltage uh, i can't remember the electric field measurements i would be more concerned with the body voltage because that's how much of it is actually reaching you um, but you can easily eliminate that just by turning them off. So if you wanted to do a 10 minute exposure limit and then just turn them off, that's not a lot of electric fields. The problematic saunas that do not have electric fields mitigated, like if you were to buy a sauna that's not on the certified sauna list and it has high electric fields, it's probably going to have 25,000, 28,000 millivolts or 25 to 28 volts of body voltage, meaning the electric fields are close to 1,000 volts per meter. So the, the bulbs are probably going to be always less than a quarter, always less than a fifth, always less than, um, no, no, I'm saying the wrong thing. They're always going to be like one to three volts or 1,000 to 3,000 millivolts of body voltage. So it, it, it's going to be significantly less, a fifth or a sixth less than what you would be normally be concerned with. I think the benefit outweighs the, you know, the pros outweigh the cons on that. If you're, if you're worried about it, like I said, I could make a follow-up video that shows you how to build a cage, but you could just look at the sauna space thing and you could fabricate something like that pretty easy. Just ground it, take care of a lot of the, a lot of the electric fields. The, um, oh, that was the other thing. So I, I forgot about that. I should have mentioned that right away. So the, the, these measurements and what you see in the video is in a one-person sauna. So when you're in a three-person sauna, you have a lot more space. So when those are hanging down, the, the number of feet between you and the source is much less. So the electric fields aren't going to travel as much. I would say that the if you measure the same thing in your sauna, it's going to be quite a bit less. That was a very small sauna. It's the smallest one. It, it's a it's a one-person sauna. So there aren't going to be too many situations where it would be worse than that. Yours would probably be 50% better than that, I would imagine. Maybe 45 if, if we're being like super conservative. So... That'd be my take on it. I wouldn't worry about it. I would use it, like it, enjoy it. If um, if you are worried about it, you could fabricate something. But again, it, it's uh, I don't think the juice would be worth the squeeze on going through the treble. Um, I use it like that. No issues. Couldn't tell a difference with or without. Obviously, I could tell a difference with the additional heat and a small little tiny sauna like that. But um, yeah, that'd be my take on it. Hope that helps, Edwin. We'll see you in tomorrow's video, guys.